Hello everyone, welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. This video is all about setting up Tailwind CSS latest version which is 2.0 as of recording this video for small projects or static websites that doesn't use any frameworks or libraries like React, Vue or Laravel. So we will be doing that without post CSS. Let's go to tailwindcss.com. Click on get started and start learning. Here you can find integration guides for next.js, Vue, Laravel, React and so on. And it also says if you don't see your favorite framework, you can install Tailwind as a post CSS plugin. But if you don't use post CSS or don't even know what it is, just follow the next few steps to install Tailwind without post CSS. We will go through the complete process mentioned in the documentation here, which includes using a custom CSS file, customizing Tailwind and building for production. But the only difference is we will use NPM instead of NPX, which means we will actually install Tailwind as a dependency. If you don't understand what I just said, don't worry. Just follow along and by the end of this video, you will be able to happily use Tailwind CSS in your project. To begin with this, you need to have npm installed. If you don't have it, search for install npm. Go to npmjs.com slash get npm. Scroll down and click on download node.js and npm. Uh, I have a Mac, so this is what I see. If you have Windows or any other operating system, you will see the installer here. Click on that and follow the steps. Maybe if you have Windows, click on next, next, next. And once it's done, open your terminal or command prompt and type npm space minus v. So if you have it installed correctly, you will see the version of npm here. Let's proceed. Let me cd into desktop and I'll create a new directory, tailwind test cd tailwind test and let me open this in vs code and open terminal within this yes now i will initialize this project with npm init dash y with all the default options so now i have the package.json file now let's install Tailwind. npm install Tailwind CSS. This might take a few seconds. Yes, once this is done, you can see that Tailwind CSS 2.0 has been added as a dependency and also the node modules folder has been created. So far, we haven't added any index.html yet. So let's do that now. Create a new folder and call it public. This is where all your HTML files will go. So let's create a first file index.html and also styles.css. You can of course put it inside another CSS folder. But this is not the file that we will be editing. For that, let's create another folder, src. You can call it whatever you want and create styles.css within this. This is our custom CSS file that we will be using if required. Now let's go back to the documentation. If you go to using a custom CSS file, you will notice that you're supposed to add all of this into that. So copy the entire thing here and paste it here. Now the lines four to six, this is where you add your custom CSS if you need to. For now, let's remove it and I'll comment it. Great. Now let's write some basic HTML code. Link our style sheet, which is styles.css in the same folder. Add a h1 element with class text to Excel maybe and text blue 500 just to check if it's working. Hello Tailwind CSS. Great. So now let's convert all the styles here using Tailwind and generate the styles that's actually required. So how do we do that? We need to 
go back to package.json and add a script. So change this to build script. And what we do is use Tailwind CSS to build what is there within the source folder styles.css and output it to public folder styles.css. That's what this whole line does. You can manually do it using npm, but build is a shortcut. Now let's try and see if this works. So npm run build. It's building, that's great and wonderful. We have our styles.css generated. So you can see that Tailwind generated styles are here. Let's look at the output. Have our H1 in blue color and two XL size. Now go to the documentation and let's go to the next step, customizing your configuration. So if you need to customize Tailwind, then you need to have something called as the tailwind.config.js. And to generate that, we need to use npx tailwind CSS in it. This generates tailwind.config.js with its basic structure here. Now within the extend here, you can add your own, your own custom configuration. We'll cover that in another video. This is also done. Now let's see how to build for production. If you notice here, the size of the generated styles.css is 3.74 MB. That's huge considering we've added only two Tailwind classes, right? We need to remove the unused styles. For that, go back to your package.json file and below the build script, add another one, say production broad. Copy the exact same thing here, only this time prepend it with node nv equals production. If you just set this value, Tailwind will take care of the rest. Let's see what it does. But one more thing, you need to go into tailwind.config.js and within the purge, you have to mention where all your Tailwind classes lie. In our case, it's going to be public slash star dot HTML. This is where all your HTML files will be. And now let's try npm run prod. It's generating, it's building, and there we go. Now you see the size is just 10.84 KB. So just make sure to run npm run prod before you push your code into production. And you see the output is still the same. Just note that all your HTML needs to go in the HTML files and public folder, which are linked to styles.css and do not touch the styles.css. Don't edit anything here. Whatever you need to add, it has to go within the source folder styles.css. Good luck building with Tailwind. Thank you for watching. Hit a like and share this video ahead. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.